Okay, um, my stomach is finally feeling much better. Um, it took a little while, but I feel like after talking a lot and I finished the nonviolent communication book, it is so good. It's so good. I just want to implement this in my life, and <laughs> I am gonna. I am implementing it into my life. Um, so I'm excited to learn more. Um, but I'm actually feeling a little bit hungry now, so I think I'm gonna put on my 432 music because that's been actually really helpful to help me feel more calm um, and at peace. And I'm gonna eat my other half of the watermelon that I had yesterday. So that's the plan. Actually, I think I wanna drink a coconut water first and then have the watermelon. That's what I'm gonna do. Coconut water first, then watermelon. But a little bit after, obviously. All right, so I had my coconut water and it was really, really, really delicious because it always is. Um, and now, I don't know about you, but I sit down on the computer and lately I haven't really been watching TV, which is nice. And all I've been doing is looking for recipe inspirations on Pinterest. <gasps> so I like go on Instagram also, because sometimes Instagram has some good ones too. And but I mostly go on Pinterest and I'm like, what to do with mushrooms? And then I'd like get up all these ideas and then I kind of either combine them or follow up one recipe or just kind of modify it because I don't have all the ingredients that they call for in the recipe. So that's literally what I do a lot. <laughs> Cause I really, really love to cook. I love cooking. Like after, when I was doing the fast, I was literally cooking for everyone all the time. I was cooking for Andrew, I cooked for my parents. And it's just like fun to try things that I've never done before. But I also thought it was kind of fun that I was doing this, but I wasn't trying any of the food. So I was always seeing how good it came out. Because I don't know, I can't taste it, I couldn't taste any of it. And I, I mean, I still am not really able to taste any of the food that I cook because um, I'm just really working to stay on track with the protocol on how to end the fast. Um, and I'm also going to be doing the mini master fast system options. The um, I think it's called the Divine Nine Cycle or something like that, where it's 18 days you eat food, nine days you eat fast. Or I think that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, but that's what I was planning on doing. So if I was wrong, I can just like look it up again. Um, but it says 18 days eating food, nine days um, fasting. So that that's the plan for me. So obviously I've just been eating fruit and. Um, I was going to eat the salad last night, but that didn't happen. So tonight, I'm, the plan is to eat that salad. And it's, it's not really a salad. It has, um, I put uh, cilantro and parsley in it with some tomatoes, red pepper, and lime juice. Um, so I wanted to stick with more herbs because I know that they say that herbs are really good for you. I'm just really working to stay with the protocol for now. Um, I am still wanting to eat cooked food, um, and obviously that's my choice, whether it's like wrong or right, not that there is really a wrong or right, but um, I do want to eat some things, like I did make pasteles at my parents' house, and I actually took some, and we had some in our freezer, because I love pasteles. And not pasteles, like pasteles in a lot of other cultures means like treats like cakes and stuff like that but in Puerto Rico pasteles are like a it's kind of like the Puerto Rican version of a tamale except instead of like a corn like outside it's made with um, yautia which I believe is in the taro root family but it's not taro and um, green bananas not plantains green bananas so I made a whole bunch of those while I was there because my parents love pasteles. Like my whole family loves pasteles. And in our family they make them with meat. Um, and I really love them and I don't want to eat meat. So I made a whole bunch of vegan ones with like chickpeas and potatoes, zucchini, bell pepper, onion, olives, capers. That like makes the pastele the pastele I think because I love the olives in there. It's always so good. Um, so yes, that's like I want to eat those at one point or another and just see how I feel like that's the thing I mean obviously this is a a process doing this fast and I can 
obviously stick with it and like really follow the protocol and just like continually fast and really clean out my system, which I do want, but I also do want to enjoy some cooked food once in a while. And um, yeah, so obviously at least not for the next few months, for sure I'm not gonna eat like that intense of a food because it has like the beans in it, which can be hard to digest. Um, and I'm still working to get my digestion going, so that I don't think would be a very good idea. Um, but I do eventually would like, I know they say within like a few weeks you can eat maybe some steamed veggies, and I might do that. Um, some steamed, you know, I don't know, carrots or broccoli, I don't know, or some sweet potatoes. Um, so we'll see. Um, but for now, I'm just, because this is the second week, and I think the second, the second and third week, it says in the protocol, after breaking the fast, to eat mostly fruit, but you can incorporate um, a salad or a raw soup, um, you know, ever so often. But apparently the fruit is what helps build up your system again. Um, so that's the plan. Um, and obviously there's, you know, a lot of people have different opinions and different ways of doing things, but I'm just sticking with this one thing for now because it has worked so far and I've never felt this way before. And I've done, I did the master cleanse before, which is, you know, the lemon juice with the cayenne and the maple syrup. I never felt very good like I do now doing that. So, um, I mean, that one I didn't really stick with us long I think the most I had done ever was a 10 day master cleanse but it was really much more difficult to stay on it I don't know I didn't feel very satisfied and I think the support of the tinctures with the master fast system really helps like really 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 helps um, so yes that is the plan I just wanted to say that because I'm sitting here on it, Pinterest and just about to look up a whole bunch of things. All right, so I'm actually feeling hungry now um, after drinking the coconut water and now I'm gonna eat the other half of that melon that I had yesterday. So, can't wait. So while I was eating that, I did my best to stay present with enjoying each bite and the flavors of the watermelon, but I also kept thinking about, what do I want to make for Angie for supper? <laughs> so I'm still working on that to be fully present, but um, you know, it's much better than it used to be. So I'm grateful for that. Give my props up props. Pat myself on the back here because um, yeah, it's difficult not to like have your mind think about all this stuff. I really want to make cornbread, and that's pretty much all I was thinking about. Besides like those moments where I was like, oh, this is really delicious. I'm so grateful that I had this watermelon. It tastes really good. Mm, how many bites? Is it really chewed? Did I swallow that too quickly? Things like that. You know, it's a work in progress, so I'm being way more gentle with myself. Um, than I used to be for sure, for sure. So anyway, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go venture off and uh, go to Andrew's parents' house um, to see what the situation is because I think I really wanna make some cornbread. I don't think, I definitely wanna make cornbread right now because I wanna do these pulled like mushroom for Andrew and I just thought it might be like nice to have cornbread with the pulled mushrooms and like some sauteed kale with some carrots. That sounds really good to me. And like onion in there. That'd be good. Anyway, off 
to greet the day. I haven't really been outside, so this would be a good opportunity for me to go outside for a little bit. Okay, so I just got home after picking up Andrew from work, and um, I made him a dinner. Um, part of it I made at um, his parents' house. Um, it's like, it's king mushrooms, or trumpet mushrooms, um, and they're called, I think they're called um, trumpet mushrooms. I shredded them and I cooked them in a barbecue sauce, which I bought because I didn't, I just was interested in it. And it was really simple ingredients and it just looked like a nice addition, something different. So it's kind of like pulled trumpet mushroom barbecue sauce. And then just some sauteed kale in water with onion and then a cornbread. Um, it, it's just from a pack. I really wanted to make it from scratch, but um, Andrew is about to start the fast, so I didn't really want to buy a whole bunch of ingredients. And Andrew's family happened to have a box of cornbread mix already, so I just used that one. It was like, I can't remember what the company was, but it's an ancient grain um, mix. So I did that, and then I have my salad from last night that I haven't eaten yet, so I'm going to eat this, which I'm really excited about. And I think I'm may also have a coconut water, like one of the coconuts. We got two more coconuts today. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, smells, the barbecue sauce smells really good. I, I'm actually really curious about making my own barbecue sauce. Um, so that's kind of why I want to, tr to Andrew to try it, just to see if he liked it. Um, Cause it's kind of nice to have like a barbecue something some, sometimes, not all the time. Like it's not, that would be like a, a fun like treat once in a while like once or twice a year or something I don't know um, but anyway so we're gonna have our supper and we're gonna have our supper together it's I don't actually even know what time it is right now um, but it's probably quite close to like 7 30 7 45 um, so it is a little bit later of a supper for us um, Andrew just gets out a little bit later on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, he gets out a little later on Fridays and Saturdays, so that's why um, we are eating dinner a little bit later than we would like to. Um, but yeah, it's a work in progress. We're working on it. We really want to eat. We really don't want to eat past seven, and that's a goal of ours. But right now, it's just not necessarily feasible at the moment. Um, I mean, obviously I could eat without Andrew, but a part of, like, there's a, um, for me it's really important to share a meal with Andrew. Like, I really, really enjoy that. So Andrew came up. He's here. Harvesting and uh, bringing all the different items and ingredients in our food to do eventually the grocery store. We were um, grateful enough to, or we were lucky, not lucky, but we um, we have the money to spend on this wonderful food. And I'm just grateful to be alive right now and to be enjoying this moment. I'm grateful for the earth for providing the food for us and all the people that it took to get this food to our plate, just like you said. And I'm grateful that we get to sit here together in our home that we built and enjoy this meal. I'm so excited.
my first like salad. enjoy this amazing cornbread and amazing kale and all this awesome stuff this uh, mushroom dish oh my gosh I'm so excited for all of this Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really, really, really good. I loved the salad I had had parsley, cilantro, tomatoes, red bell pepper, and lime juice. One whole lime. It was really good. The only thing is like with the parsley and the cilantro, they were so difficult to chew. I haven't really had to chew, 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 chew. But the tomato with the lime juice and the peppers was really really good oh and there were scallions in there too because I did want kind of like a, a bit of an oniony but I thought the onion might be a little bit too much right now just coming off the fast but that was a really really nice meal and it was kind of nice to switch it up from the, all the fruit that I've been eating um, I'm really glad and I think Andrew enjoyed his meal too right? yeah the cornbread was really good it was a little bit sweet and a little bit creamy and then mushroom dish with the barbecue sauce was really tasty and there's some nice kale with onions that was sauteed it tastes really good so I really enjoyed it and I sauteed it in water not oil um, the kale with the onions so I don't think there was any oh in the cornbread there's a little bit of co uh, coconut oil that I put um, called for butter so I used coconut oil instead but that was the only thing that had oil in it, I think. I don't think the barbecue sauce has oil in it. I'll look at the ingredients, but I don't think it did. But I'm not sure about that. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It's not a big deal. Because yeah. we ate our food fresh here, and it was great. And it smelled good. It tasted good. I'm so grateful that we had access, that we have access to food. That we are so blessed to be able to get all the abundance of produce that we get in the winter time here. Living in the Northeast, it's like crazy. Like the fact that I've been drinking fresh young coconuts is amazing. Like it's so yeah, amazing. It is, it is really, truly. And I know people would say, oh, well, that's, you know, such a high carbon footprint, but it's like the fact that we are vegan, you know, we don't contribute in that way. Actually, animal um, agriculture contributes more to um, environmental problems than shipping a few coconuts I think that's in my opinion and that's also what statistics show I mean obviously it'd be better if we lived in Thailand and or Florida or any Hawaii where they had access to coconuts all the time but since we don't you know and they sell it in the store you know may as well it's really great right absolutely <laughs> so Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe uh, below. There's um, right below. Just subscribe if you like. If you want to see more videos like this, also please comment. Um, we would love to hear your feedback. Um, any questions? Any comments? You know, um, maybe you guys want to see certain videos. Maybe um, I know a tour of our tiny house is definitely we need to do one of those. An update of our tiny house. Um, but we also still are getting situated um, from me being away. So tomorrow the plan is to um, clean up a little bit and then maybe maybe we'll have time to do a tiny house tour video and show you what our house is looking like nowadays compared to what it did before. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. We, we really appreciate it. Um, Thank and you. Please let us know what kind of videos you'd like. 
Um, these series that I'm doing is um, just breaking my fast, postmaster fast, um, and we are planning to do other ones where Andrew's more involved in them. So, um, anyway. Thank you for watching, we really appreciate it. And just comment, rate, or subscribe, as Melissa said. And the more you're able to participate with our videos, the more we can bring the content that everybody wants. So, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Okay. Mm. So, um, my hubby got me a, a cocoa, cocoa water. He's so nice. He opened up for me. He, he served me the coconut water. And I was just a little thirsty, so I wanted to drink some coconut water. Um, I'm working on not eating three to four hours before I go to bed, but I figured coconut water is not eating. You know, debatable. Very debatable, but I'm feeling thirsty, so I'm gonna have it and enjoy every single sip to the last tiny sip of the coconut water. And then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> so, have a good night. Thanks for watching.